Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Andrew Taws. And I'm Chopper Chuck Regner. And you know, Andrew, this time of year is not all about getting out of the water or going to the beach. There are gems that you can find inland that are well worth your time. And one of them is the Tuckahoe Steam and Gas Association show in Talbot County, where history literally comes to life. Our journey begins at the intersection of Steam and Main on the sprawling grounds of the Tuckahoe Steam and Gas Association, just outside of Easton, Maryland. And Morgan Harvey is giving us a tour. This place was originally put together by a group of older men that just wanted to, you know, have kind of a reunion of the good old days. And it has grown into a very large event that we have four days a year. It's a big showgrounds, <laughs> definitely. Now you've probably passed this sign heading south on Route 50, but had no idea that behind the trees there is a huge property dedicated to keeping alive the machines that made this country an industrial powerhouse. Whether they're powered by steam or gas, each one has its own distinct sound. Those are the sounds of reliable engines that still work today. And you can get an idea as to how old they are by visiting the age of steam. And there's the marine engine. Yep. These castings were made in England. And how old are these things? Uh, some of them, well, this one here, this is 1878. This is a table engine. And uh, what does it take to keep these things running for over 100 years? Um, maintenance, like anything. If you lubricate it, keep it tuned up well, make sure that it's clean when you start it up, they'll last a lifetime or many lifetimes like some of these do already. And into the age of gas and oil. Diesel generators, huh? Yeah. It's what I do for a living and uh, I'm a collector of antique generators. So this is a 1938-1939 uh, witty, some people pronounce it wit, uh, witty diesel electric plant. Witty produced these for 25, 30 years. Um, this is a fairly early model, but it was designed uh, as a, a, a stationary power source that would be installed on a rural installation on a farm, somewhere where there was no utility power available. And uh, it was made to run 24-7, 365, whenever you need electricity. So they're pretty reliable. Yeah, yeah, it's a really heavy built engine, uh, roller bearings on the crankshaft, um, it's splash lubricated, uh, large, large capacity fuel tank, really high quality stuff. Here at the Tuckahoe Machine Shop Museum, we're in for a treat because the line is running today. It's roof mounted for safety so that workers wouldn't be near the belts. So the principle of a line shaft is so that you can have all of these machines basically running at one time. In this machine shop, obviously because we're a historical setting and kind of a museum, we have different machines running, but normally if you were in a factory, you would have you know 40 something of the same machine running so that you could have a production line of different you know textile making and all that kind of stuff going on all at one time without having to worry about what's running it. And it's all running at the same speed, all running at the same RPMs, everything you need. But perhaps the real stars of this show are the huge and intricate traction engines. Sometimes called road locomotives, they could be driven to a work site and provide power far inland where no hydropower was available. I see that this one is owned by the B-Seckers of Bear, Delaware, is that right? Correct. What do we have here? This is a 1924 Keck Donnerman 2265. Uh, it's 22 horsepower on drawbar, 65 horsepower on the belt. So it is a steam traction engine. This would have been used as a farm implement back around the turn of the century. And it could do all number of things. Anything that requires rotational power. So run a thresher machine, sawmill. I mean, obviously you can drive it around, you can plow. Um, just about anything that you would need a tractor for today. This was your tractor. And these things could just keep going pretty much all day as long as you fed them. It, it, it's just like feeding yourself. You have to feed them water, you have to feed them coal, you have to feed yourself, lunch, some water on a hot day like today. About how much coal and water uh, does that go through in about a day? Um, probably on the mill you go through a ton of coal and 1,500 gallons of water. 
basically you're coming back over here, it's like going back in time. And if you want to get your grandkids connected as to where we came from, this is a perfect example right here. To show the appreciation of what we have now, you have to know where you came from. The Tuckahoe Steam and Gas Association will have events throughout the summer, so be sure and check out their website. It's a great place to relax and, you know, blow off some steam. <laughs>